But Leslie was born about two weeks early. I had a tear in the sack, and so since I wouldn't quit leaking, they decided to go ahead and induce her, and she really did not want to come. It was a long labor, lots of Pitocin, lots of things like that, and um, right before I was going to push, they gave me a very strong delivery dose in my epidural, and I could not push well. And so after quite a while of pushing, she was coming down the birth canal, and she had crowned, and then she slipped right back up into the birth canal. And the doctor went up into me with forceps. And as he pulled her down, he turned her head. So we don't, I don't know any of this. So literally three days after I have her home, she has not quit crying. I'll nurse her, she nurses, and then she screams. And by the third day, she had not had a bowel movement. And you know, breastfed babies are supposed to like practically leak poop every time that, and so we took her to the pediatrician. Well, he had to insert his gloved finger and poop shot across his office onto the wall. That's how much pressure was in her body. So immediately they start giving her all of these things to try to help her go to the bathroom. And for like two more weeks, she won't. She's not thriving. She's crying 20 hours a day plus in obvious pain. She won't go to the bathroom. Her stomach is swollen. At the end of three weeks, oh, they say, oh, she's allergic to your milk, which we know now is not true. We're gonna send her for an upper and lower GI, a three-week-old. They were looking for her sprungs. So that came back completely normal. So they decided to put her on this drug they said put her in a cool dark room don't mess with her so much they put her on nutramogen which was that special formula that was back then fifty dollars a can and malt supex which was a very expensive additive that was supposed to help her bowels move then they put her on this drug that was supposed to relax the muscles of the i guess the rectum and all of that we went in to check on her and when we lifted her shirt, her abdomen was about to explode. We rushed her to the emergency room. They had to insert a finger again, blow all that gas out. And at the end of that time, she's now almost eight weeks old. We've had no sleep. She is in obvious pain. I've quit nursing. It is a very traumatic time. No one is supposed to come into our house because they don't know what's going on with her. So no one can mess with her except Kevin and I. And I have a 21 month old at home, besides Leslie. And I went to my chiropractor. And when I walked in, he said, what has happened to you? And I just broke down. And he said, Nancy, I can help your daughter. So when I told him how she was delivered, he said, you, it is unbelievable that she has not died of SIDS. And he said that to me. He said, you would not believe the numbers they're seeing of babies who are forceps delivered that have SIDS, because, that die of SIDS because their whole atlas and axis are completely messed up. And so he said, that drives digestion. It drives elimination. It drives all of that. And he said, bring me your daughter today. So I go home and against everyone's wishes in our family, I said I'd had it. And we took her. When Dr. Doyle adjusted her, he said, this is gonna be very painful. And he said, just steal yourself. And we did, and it was horrible. But when he finished adjusting her, she filled a diaper. And then she filled another right there on his exam table. It was everywhere. And then she drank a 10 ounce bottle. Now, up to this point, she could only take in two ounces at a time. She's eight weeks old, two ounces at a time. And then would begin to scream. So <clears throat> he just told me, he said, <laughs> I want you to come to my office every night at six o'clock. I'll stay late and I'm going to adjust her. And he said, in two months, she should be perfect. 
but he told me, he said, I have never seen a baby with such a bad, I don't even know what you call it, that the atlas was so badly out. He gave me a percentage and it was shocking. And he just said, you are so fortunate. And I really credit the Lord for all of this because uh, without that nudging of the Holy Spirit, we would have never gone. We literally were zombies and couldn't think. So he worked with her about twice a week for a month and then once a week for a month. And then after that, she just saw him monthly to every other month. And so now she's a healthy adult. She has two children of her own. And the first thing she did in the second week of their life was take them to the chiropractor. So all I can say is Dr. Duell saved Leslie's life. There's no other way to put it. And uh, certainly he kept her from having developmental problems the rest of her life. It's miraculous. And everyone really, regardless of how their baby is born, should go to their chiropractor as, as, as long as they are familiar with working with newborns and get that baby there because it's, it's a godsend.